Angie's. I just put in. I haven't got them tied in yet. I'm waiting on a couple of uh, foot and a half extension MC4 connectors on the back. So these will all be tied in together. And the other two 100s on the outside, they're, they're already separate. So. And, uh, as soon as we get the gear, it'll be all tied in. Yeah, as you can see with these Renogy solar panels, uh, I use zip ties, heavy duty zip ties, eight on each panel to secure. Much easier setup uh, for, for mounting. So that's that. I, uh, you say they're not tied in yet. I'm still waiting on the foot and a half extensions for these four to tie in together. So, but they're Renogy. They're a little darker than the Coleman. But they should serve the purpose and it's all pressure treated lumber. So, anyway. So it is the very next day, uh, what I realized with this array set up uh, with the new Renogy panels and the MC4 connectors is I didn't need the extensions. As you can see, they all tie in there. So, got it all tied in now and I've got uh, the new charge controller. It uh, can handle up to 60 amps. So, um, they, uh, the new charge controller, it's an MPPT. Um, which means uh, it's a, it'll be a little more efficient uh, in low light conditions. I'll get more charge out of the uh, system. So, um, according to the reviews and all the research I've done with uh, with solar, so um, so this is the uh, this is the solar array. This is a setup here. Uh, on a good day, I'll probably get um, I'm thinking uh, six times five. I'll get about thirty over a little over thirty amps. On a nice day coming in so um, so all that's left to do is tidy up all of that I'll uh, and I'll cut all the extensions on those zip ties I'll zip tie the uh, the MC4s up and I've got to get some uh, protection for the two Coleman um, panels you can see the wire there it's already faded with the UV so they're not uh, weather resistant like the MC4s so I'll bring you inside and show you uh, the uh, SolarMate charge controller, the MPPT one that I have. And uh, the system is running there right now, actually. So we'll, uh, we'll check back shortly. All right, so there's the, uh, the new charge controller. It's uh, SolarMate. And um, the only thing I don't like about this charge controller is it doesn't tell you the, uh, the current coming in. It doesn't have a display. But having said that I've still got the other one there uh, and I got the cutout for it as well so that'll be a spare because I don't ever expect the other one is 30 amp capacity I don't ever expect it to exceed that but I just wanted something uh, to try out and see if the MPPT is actually a lot better than what they're saying so right now current uh, voltage with 400 watts 380 watts being drawn I'm still at 12.8 so just waiting on two more uh, L16 class mat batteries. They'll go right there. Still got some tidying up to do, as you can see, because I just finished only a few minutes ago. So, get that solace and insulation up out of the way. I will be tidying this up a lot more than what you see um, over the coming days. Like I say, uh, moose hunting season started today, and uh, the weather is not the greatest out there. So, um, we got lots of time yet for a moose hunt, but stay tuned. Just want to keep uh, keep up to date with the solar. Um, once I tie in the other two batteries, I'll uh, I'll do another video and share with you. Um, so I'm thinking with 800 amp hour reserve, I should be able to run this around the clock 24/7 without any generator use whatsoever. So as always, guys, take care. 
and uh, thanks for watching.